Hey everyone, so today I am going to be sharing with you guys my February favorites and I just have several products that I really have liked in the month of February that I've been using a lot and that have been good to me and treating me well. So I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so to start off with lip products, I've really been loving this Tangerine EOS and this isn't really a new love, this is like a rekindled love, I guess you could say. Um, I always like to switch it up with my EOS. I have been using them for like about two years, so I always like to like use a different one um, like every once in a while, every month or so, and usually in the winter I like the minty kind, and I don't know, I feel like this is just making me think of spring, and it's making me happy, and I've really been liking this lately. Okay, so the next thing that I've really been liking is this Revlon Lip Butter in Peach Parfait. And I really like this because it's a nice kind of pink peach and it is not too orange. And I don't like orangey peaches, so this is a good peach and it has a little bit of shimmer to it. Nice application. Enough set. Okay, so next is this Zoya nail polish, and this is in Izzy, and this was actually in a birch box a while ago. So I didn't think I was actually going to like this color, just because I don't tend to wear a lot of like um, red nail polishes, and I thought this was a little bit too red for me. I mean, it's more of a berry, but I I don't know. I was just like, eh, I don't really like it. And then one day I just decided to put it on, and I don't know. I just really liked the color. And I like the shimmer. Next is this Got To Be um, Styling Powder. It's like a volumizing powder. And I've really been liking this because it's so like lightweight. And it's really easy to just like shake it in my roots. Obviously I have the cap on right now. That would be bad if it like poured out all over my head. Because it is like a white powder. But it is really fine. And it's actually, I don't know how to explain it. I feel like it's just kind of tingly. Not tingly. I don't know. It's very light. I like the feeling of it in my hair on my scalp. And it's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, it works pretty well, actually. I was very surprised by this. And I actually got this for free because it was on sale and I had a coupon. And I was very impressed. Okay, so I have quite a bit of, like, facial redness. Um, and I have been looking for a concealer that would work well. I was using Clinique before and it didn't... It didn't like my skin very much. I have some dry patches as well. So whenever I was using it, it just ended up kind of like looking cakey. And I'd have to like dab, 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 dab. Or else it just it didn't look right. It didn't work out so well. And I didn't think the coverage was that great either. So I decided to try this Smashbox High Definition Concealer. Because I was reading the reviews online and they were pretty good. And I got it in Fair. And it's pretty light. But I think it works really well for my redness. It covers it up pretty well. And obviously, if you want more coverage, you could put more on. Um, I do feel like you really need to set this, though. Because it transfers pretty easily. Like, if you're on the phone or something, it's... Yeah, it wears down pretty fast if you're not going to set it. But otherwise, I've been loving this. There is no problems with, like, the dryness. It does not, like make my face look cakey. So the last favorite for February for me is this Pangea Organics Facial Mask. And it has Osai and Goji Berry. This is for all skin types. And what I really like about this brand is that it's organic and it's cruelty free. And they try really hard to make sure that um, all of their products are free trade, all of their ingredients. So I think that's wonderful. And I actually got this because I heard that it was good for, like, facial redness. And I haven't seen, like, a vast improvement. Um, but I do have to say, for having pretty sensitive skin, this has worked pretty well. And it hasn't been irritating my skin. And it just feels, like, natural. It just feels good on my skin. And I really like it. And it's just a nice, kind of, like, refreshing smell. Let me know in the comments below what things you have been loving in February. Um, if there are products that you think I should try out, that you recommend, maybe I'll check them out and give them a try. Remember to like this video if you like it, and subscribe to stay up to date with my beauty and fashion adventures. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.